Hey guys. This car. Did this mirror fuck my light? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm really feeling the no in, the no intro, the no backdrop, just doing stuff how I want to do it. I am loving it. And today, I'm grateful that you're here. We're going to do a fun DIY. So, actually, let me show you something for reference. In one of my videos, I think it was my current favorites. It's been a while. I could probably do a new one. But I showed you guys this jacket that I DIY'd and how I had the chains on it and I thrifted it and I'm so obsessed. And I still really am obsessed. I don't care how cold it is. If I can wear a sweater and just this and be good, shit. I'll wear a t-shirt and just this. And it's like 17 degrees outside. But I do it because it's such a vibe. And I wanted to do more of that. So I actually went thrifting. Please hold again. Hit my knee. <laughs> I went thrifting. And I found this cute purse. I saw this. I was like, I normally don't look at the accessories when I go. But I was like, let me just just take a gander and I'm so happy that I did this is the most adorable bag and I still have glue and chains you, you get you, you you know the fucking vibes guy but then I also have this bag that I had for the longest time I got this at a little shop in the city and I think they closed unfortunately but I love that it's gray and gold because normally you see gray and silver but I think I want to add something on this handle as well and I told myself that I would do more DIYs and just more of all my random things, not just for myself, but also for my channel. So let's do it. Let's do it. So the first thing that I grabbed are these little binder clips. These actually came when I ordered my backdrop holder. This is just going to keep everything in place while it dries. I'm so excited. This glue, this is the best. I know a lot of people use e not. I was going to say a lot of people use Eco Styler. I know a lot of people use E6000, but I tried this one out when one of my straps on my purse broke. I could put everything in there. I could put the weight of the world in that bag and it's not going to break now. This is a liquid fusion heavy duty um, performance adhesive and it's good for fabrics and different textures and stuff. And I use it to fix the bag, so I'm going to use it for these bags. Then we have the actual main thing aside from the items that we're going to DIY. I think I'm going to do a video later on and I'll show you how I sew it. I'm not the best sewer, tailor, seamstress. I'm not the best but I make it do what it do. So this is just a big wheel of a chain. <laughs> it's gold. I think it'll look nice with the bag so I'm kind of excited. If you're in an area that has like a fashion district you can just go to our trim shop and I'm sure you'll find it. I'll see if I can find anything on Amazon. I'll try to link everything down below for you guys. But yeah, this is all the stuff you need. With this particular chain, I just rip it so I don't have pliers or anything. But I did also grab some scissors in case I needed it. So yeah, that is it. Let's get on to the DIY. Y'all, so I don't know how I finessed this angle, but I did. So here's my bag. I love it. I hope that this looks right for you guys. I'll work on this in future DIYs that I do over here. But I'm just going to add chain... I don't know if I want it to go up to the top, but I know I want it all the way around here for sure. And maybe also down here. And maybe even the handle. T. So I have my chain, and I'm just going to measure it out. And I kind of eyeball it, and I just place it around the area. And then I'm going to take that clip I have, and it's just going to help me hold it for right now. So I can kind of map this out a little bit better. Go, just measure. And I have makeup on my hands because I got ready and then just filmed, just decided to film this. I'm just going to rip it, which with this chain, it's kind of easy to do. It comes right apart. So I'm going to put my chain down here. I'm going to go into my glue. And I'm going to try not to use too, too much of this. I'm going to go ahead and map out where I want the glue. I love this because the tip is like so, it's such a small hole that sounds so bad, but it's like perfect for this. I know a lot of people they'll use um, hot glue first and then a glue like this, that way it dries right away and it could set a lot faster. I just don't think that'll look as cute for a purse, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more over here. So I wanna cut the rest of that here, but I'm gonna just let it dry. And if I were to lift up my bag, you can see it so looks so cute. Ew. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'd be having these ideas and I'm like, girl, you're doing the most. But other times, I do just right, okay? I do just right. So when this is totally dry and it's going to take overnight, I'm going to go in and like cut that tomorrow. I'm just not going to risk it. I'm going to do the same thing for the lower half. You want to play around with it and make it exactly how you want it because once this sets and it fully dries, babes, it's not going nowhere. Oh, this looks so cute. If I had more patience, I would like try to do like a little quilted effect with the chain. I would die. I'm going to just move this down and we're also going to do the handles. Part of me wants to do right here. Fuck it, we're gonna do right here and then the handle. Okay, so the other bag was thrifted. This one is not, but it is truly one of my favorite most worn bags. Especially for it to be a smaller bag because although I have like newer ones, this one got me into smaller bags. I used to love huge ones. And this one is one of those small bags that just holds a lot and it has the gray with the gold and we love it. So I just want to add to it. And also the snake bread, like come on. So I'm going to just worry about the strap up here. And... I think that's all the I think that's all I want to add to it. I'm contemplating if I want to do it down this whole thing as well, but I think that might just be more of a hassle to dry. So we're gonna worry about the handle today. The so same thing, grabbing my chain, I'm gonna measure it. This one's kind of like eh, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use my little clips to hold it. I, I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm gonna do two and do one on one side and one on the other. So it'll be like a double sort of action here. I know the angle's kind of weird, I just don't want this to fall off. So the bag looks so cute right now. Oh, oh I can't wait to wear it. Um, I'm going to let this dry standing upright and the other one I have like pivoted. But yeah, we're going to leave this alone for, I just do it overnight. So, I mean, I'll probably be able to, if I wanted to, I could probably wear this out like tonight. But I ain't going nowhere, it's a pandemic. So it's just going to sit upright and dry. And tomorrow I'll show okay. you. Okay, so we're over here by my cart and my bookcase. So I use my salt lamp right here to kind of pivot and hold that up. That way it can dry the way I want. But I still have a little clip here to help me secure it. And then this one is right in front of my little accessory container. And I'm just going to let this vibe on its own. I think it'll be fine here. If I'm worried, it'll go on the bookcase. But here, I don't really be grabbing the accessories like that. So, you know, the Okay, next day, second take. I have the pliers and it's dry. I just need to cut off these chains. It's they're driving me crazy because it looks so cute and then you see all that excess and I don't like that. So let's get to get. Um, be careful because I did almost like hurt myself with the pliers and these aren't even like great ones, you know. So just be mindful. Can you tell I don't do stuff like this? I'm so awkward with my pliers. <laughs> So this bag's done. Oh my god. So I just like, I was able to use my fingers with this yesterday. Why I couldn't do that today, I could not tell you. But I just measured a long chain piece and I just unhooked and hooked it together with my fingers. 
And I thought a longer strap option would have been cuter than one here. But I'm probably... I keep saying this, but I really do this with DIYs. Like, I always go back and forth. And I think what I want to do is find a way, and I'm going to need help or hot glue or something, to, like, wrap the chain, like, coiled around the strap. I think that would be cuter. But I just did this for now, and I love it. And I have a longer strap option, and it's, like, a perfect length for your girl. Next one. <laughs> okay. This one I did. Oh. Okay, wait. <laughs> this one's done. So here it looks like this. I don't know why I thought I had to cut it. I did kind of mess up here because when I was trying to do the other side on the back, which I have to like refix that because it like all was falling apart. It was all falling apart. I was not a fan. So it's a little crooked, but it's still so cute. And I also did the two on the handle. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I'm filming my intro and outro at the same time. I'm trying something different like all the other YouTubers do, but I'll have photos up on the screen of it finished, a little vloggy vlog moment, but I am so, oh, I'm so excited. I'm just so happy to be able to start doing DIYs again in general. So thank you for joining me with this project today. I hope you like it. I hope you try it out. If you try it out, please let me know. I want to see it. Go to like DM me, tweet me, bitch. I even got TikTok message me. I have Hive. You could find me there. And I want to see what yours looks like. But I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.